Hey everyone, Daphne from Scrap and Create. We're working on page three. Page three. So we've got a, a flip flop flap. <laughs> and we're going to need to add that first. So this is, and I'm going to double check it. Yep, six and a half, six and a half by eight and a half. Six and a half by eight and a half. You're going to score a half inch on the eight and a half inch side. Okay, and it's going to go in like so. Let me think, do I want it to? Yeah, this is the way I want it to open away from the spine. So we're going to find our center point. Which is easy, it's at four. Then we need to find our center point for this. Hmm. Which is six and a half, so it should be three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. There we go. Now I'm going to line up those two marks. And we're going to lay this in. Okay, and it's going to get installed on page three on the right hand side. There we go. Okay, so that comes all the way across. So again, six and a half by eight and a half, score half inch on the eight and a half inch side. And it's gonna go in like so. And then we need a magnet to hold this down. So let's get those in. And then um, we'll go ahead and cover the base. Sorry for the shuffling, I'm looking for my tape. So this page is going to need two sets of magnets, and you'll see why in just a moment. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now this is going to go in like so. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. Okay, and that's going to go like that. Okay, so the second flap is going to go right on top of this flap, and they're the same width, and it's going to be centered um, on this on this mat going the opposite direction. Okay, and that's why I called it a flip-flop. So the first thing we're going to do is find our center point, which, because it goes the length of the paper, it is at four. Okay, and then we need to find the center point on here, which is going to be three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Okay, we're going to line those two up, and then we're going to uh, put this in. I'm going to do a little housekeeping real quick. Okay. Oops, I got everything completely turned upside down. There we go. That's right side up. Sorry. 
So this opens this way. That means this is going to open this way. It means I put my mark on the wrong paper. So now I need to mark this at three and a half, three and a quarter, sorry, three and a quarter. So I'm going to line that up and then I'm going to look to make sure that my paper is lining up top to bottom and just carefully pull my fingers out. Okay, there we go. Now this is where our second magnet is going to come into play. It's going to go here. Second set of magnets. Okay, there we go. Yay. All right. So next thing, let's go ahead and cover this. This is the six and a half by six and a half square. So we're going to cover this. I've got a pencil mark here, so I'm going to take that off real quick. All done. Okay, now, oh, that's too far over. I'm going to try to fix it. Can I get it off? Yes, yay! It wasn't centered to my satisfaction. <laughs> it's too far over on this side. Now my borders look even. I need to be careful because I wrote something there that I need to get. Got to grab my eraser again. All right, all right. So that's covered. So then the next thing is we're going to add this. Is a cut apart from the collection pack. So it is six, just under six by six. And it's going to go here as a feature. I think it's very pretty. Okay. Now the last piece, or at least for the A side, is we're going to add this. So. I'm going to trim it to fit, and then this strip that comes off is going to be added over here. Okay, and we'll have to trim all these to fit. So it's not exactly color blocking, but it's a lot of the same process. Double check my mark there. Okay, I'll be right back. And as you can see where I marked it, it'll actually be bigger than what we need, wider than what we need. Ink. And I was just checking to make sure I've got my work going the right way. This is going to go here. We'll take off our tape backing.
Okay, that's lovely. Now we're gonna add this strip right here. Except I wanna turn it the right way. Okay, and it's a little bit too wide, so I'm just gonna take a tiny sliver off about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, it's very hard to manage that in the trimmer, so I'm going to hand trim the part it folded on me. Okay, there we go. Looks good. I'm going to ink it and we'll lay it in. There are some letters on here, so just make sure you have the orientation correct. You know, it's always important to pay attention to those little details. Okay, so it opens like that and like that. So there's that flip flop I was telling you. So now we still need to do the B side here and the B side here. So I'm gonna take a break, line those papers up, be right back. Okay, I've got the B sides picked out for page three. So we're ready to do that. So on the large flap, I chose this very simple bird pattern and I've got it all inked and ready to go. So this is gonna go very quickly. Beautiful, okay, and then another simple pattern. This is too bold to go here, so I'm going to use the back side. And it also pulls in that pattern again. This is from the 12 by 12 and this is from the eight by eight. So you can see a difference in the scale of the pattern, but I still think it looks lovely. So there is page three, all finished. Okay, I'll be back soon.